Today, I bid you welcome to the journey around the world of buildings that pierce through sky, almost touching its rim. The skyscrapers are a dream that leads us into skies where the air grows thin and buildings are on the threshold of becoming whimsical. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of construction, navigate the precipice of possibility, and ponder the profound question. In a world where the sky is our only limit, how high can we reach? Today, our journey into the stratosphere begins. The story begins in the heart of Dubai, where a desert city asks to dream vertically. 2004 was the year of preparation for what would later become a modern architectural masterpiece, the Burj Khalifa. This colossus, a combination of engineering genius and architecture power, was slowly developed until it reached the world's tallest building in 2010. But the Burj Khalifa is not simply a height symbol, it's an art form that brings life to the skyline. The front of the shining building is full of stories, metaphorical and real, offices, houses, and a five-star hotel. This gigantic building is the miniature of human civilization that integrates utilitarianism with beauteousness. However, the Burj Khalifa is not just a height show, it's a symbol of fortitude an endearing memory that compels us to look beyond the boundaries defined by tradition. When we delve into its past, what's in front of us is solid steel and the story of human risk to accomplish what would seem impossible. Still, since we're not done yet, hold on to your blueprints. Burj Khalifa is about to experience an identity crisis thanks to Jeddah Tower. It's like a skyscraper battle of superheroes with cranes instead of capes. And Creek Tower? It's not even competing. It's co-starring in the next blockbuster of Skyline. We wonder at the current giant as we look towards the horizon line where future skyscrapers are waiting to take center stage. Did you believe that the Burj Khalifa was peeling off from the stratosphere? Welcome to the Mile High Tower, an idea that knocks sky high out of its place and replaces it with mile high. Imagine a tower so boastful. In fact, standing on stilts is an attempt to see above the horizon itself. Picture this, a feat of engineering dreamt up by visionaries who had the temerity to ask, what if we built an additional mile just for the vista? This is not just a skyscraper, it's an announcement, a declaration that in the race for height, the limit doesn't lie above, it only starts there. Though the Mile High Tower is still just an idea, it inspires conversations that reach high into the clouds and make us question what we thought was possible in architecture. And now, let's lift our imaginations a little higher up in the sky. Step into the Space Elevator, a name that would have seemed like something out of science fiction, yet is an idea which might just change our traveling beyond the atmosphere. Imagine a glass elevator, not flying through the walls of a chocolate factory, but across space. Somewhere, someone gazed at the stars and wondered, why not build an elevator to space? It's more than a crazy fantasy. It's about redefining our everyday perception of how we travel through outer space. No more rocket launches, just get in, push the button, and Grandpa, hold on, we're going to space! As we have flown high in the skies of imagination and aspiration, let us now come down to Earth, where architects and engineers struggle with problems equally as grandiose as those they design. Now that we've flown high on the wings of imagination and aspiration, let us come down to ground level where architects and engineers face issues equally as tall as their designs. It comes with some engineering challenges, such as pushing the boundaries. However, in our quest to reach for the heavens, engineers find themselves at the center of a war against gravity, wind, and ever-recalcitrant stability. Imagine a tower that not only reaches out to the clouds, but does so while resisting the forces of nature. It's not just about piling floors, but also pushing the limits of what is physically possible. Wind resistance becomes a force to be reckoned with in the climb upwards. The problem is how to prevent our skyscrapers from swaying perilously in the wind, a balancing act between height and safety. It's not just about fighting the elements, but doing so responsibly. In the era of sustainability, the environmental impact of skyscrapers is being questioned. The architects and engineers think long and hard about the materials used, energy consumed, as well as damage to the surrounding environment. The modern skyscraper blueprint is being transformed by the quest for green designs in sustainable materials, green roofs, energy efficient systems, and even vertical gardens transformed from luxury items to prerequisites. The question here is how to climb high without doing so at the expense of our planet's health. Today's architects and engineers do not only create structures, but a future in which ambition meets responsibility, where the height of achievement stands on par with the depth of consideration for our world. 
Thus, as we move toward the skies, let us do it in recognition of what holds on to Earth and a pledge for sensible ascension. Now the architects of tomorrow, shapers of skylines yet to come. The saga continues, and the skyline evolves, echoing the persistent question, how high can we build? The answer is in the dreams of those who dare to touch the sky.